everybody, welcome back to Heidi's Garage. Uh, this is day three of working on the DT-466 in this dump truck. Uh, this is a DT-466 series on Heidi's Garage. We are doing in-frame on this truck. Uh, we got most of the accessories off of it. We got the oil cooler off of it in the previous videos. So now we are going to try to get the main components off of the engine. So like valve cover and the head. Um, the uh, exhaust manifold on it with the turbo attached to it, and all of our fuel lines. So that's where our goal is today. Uh, we hope y'all get to drop in the pan and take a look underneath this engine, maybe even getting to where we can pop some of the uh, pistons out, but we'll see you know, how stuff goes when you're mechanicing. You have uh, big goals and sometimes you don't reach that because you have other issues that come up. Uh, we're doing it outside, this truck's too big to fit in the garage. We're just doing it out here on the concrete. Um, I'm going to show you what we did so far, kind of give you a quick recap, and uh, then tell you where we're going next. So previously, uh, we took all the intake stuff off, hot side, cold side, intercooler, uh, a lot of the wires. We took the oil cooler off, which sat down here. Uh, any electrical stuff, so we still got to flop some of this electrical out of the way, which won't be too much. And that coolant line on this side, but this side's pretty cleaned up pretty easy to get to. Uh, there's not a whole lot in the way. We're going to take this V-band off right there for the turbo. We're going to try to take the unit out as one whole piece with the head so we don't have to take all that off. They're hard to get in there and then we can take it off on the bench. Uh, I do have turbo seals coming for it so we're going to just go through the turbo. Since we are mixing oil and coolant it's not the best thing to run through the turbo. That's on this side. So the passenger side obviously. Uh, alternator. We're replacing the water pump, which is down here. So I have one of those coming. And we're just doing like a major overhaul on it so we can have it for many more years. Uh, it's a good truck. It's got a little rust, but it's not it's not that big of a deal. So now we're over here on the driver's side. Um, this is our fuel pump. This is a Bosch P pump. Same thing sounds like a Cummins. I think it's a little bit bigger, not for sure. Uh, I think this is a 7100 series pump. This is a big boy. So these are our injector lines. So we're going to crack all these lines off. We're going to number them. Take them all off, take them down to the injector, and take them off there. That's probably one whole unit because they're all connected. We're going to try to do that. We're going to number them. Then we're going to number our injectors when we take them out so we know which ones they go to. We are not taking the pump off. Uh, so we don't have to worry about timing that. Uh, this is our air compressor down here. We're not taking that off either. It's out of the way. I do have a new fuel filter for it. That we gotta put on, and we're gonna run some new fuel lines because some of them are leaking down by, down by the tank. Uh, as you can see here, electrical harness comes by. We have a doghouse out on the inside, so we'll go take a look at that next, and then we'll start working on it. So here's the inside. Uh, this is the back of the motor. Connects to the transmission here. Your exhaust pipe. You can see a turbo out there. Many valve covers, head, whatnot. Uh, it wasn't actually too bad to get out. The top piece, like the top slash front piece of it came off pretty easy. The back housing was a little more of a pain to get off because we have Snow County trucks. We have all of the electronics still in here for it. So we had to finagle it around there. So we got a loose, loose bolt there. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. And then once you get that off, you have really good access to the motor and plenty of room to lift the head off. So we're going to go and start, we're going to start by taking the electrical off, get all that off of it, and then we'll move to injector lines and, and uh, fuel injectors. So we got electrical stuff off. We're actually going to go ahead and pull the valve cover on this. Um, you get a look underneath there. 
gives us more room to pull the injectors and fuel lines out. So we're gonna pop that. I think they're all 10 mil. So we're gonna start buzzing that all off. And um, we can see what's underneath it and see how bad the sludge is when I pulled. The breather tube, it was pretty sludgy and gross. So I'm curious to see how this looks. Um, the little wash on or something on it, we'll see. But we're gonna start popping that off. I'm gonna hit it with impact, take them all off with that. Uh, I just flopped the electric wire just over, same thing with the air hoses for the fan, and just flopped them over. Uh, they're out of the way now for right now. So we're gonna pop that. Again, 10 mil, we're just gonna hit it with the impact, take them right off. head in the background so focus so we're gonna take all, all these head bolts out I'm not sure if we gotta take the, the valve assembly out I don't know if we gotta take this out or not but we're gonna take all the other ones off first and see if it'll just come out and just let the uh, push rod just sit in there if not I guess we'll take those out and take the whole assembly out we'll see if we can get one more hose to take off I'll have the turbo on we'll go ahead and, and take a look so we're gonna pull the head off next we have my assistant over here <laughs> Junior, he's uh, we're modifying this cherry picker to like be longer so we can lift ahead without taking a bunch of other stuff off here. So hopefully, it doesn't tip over. But we both hung from it, so it was like 300 pounds ish. Yep. If not, we can make counterweight. We should be good. If not, yeah, we'll put him on the back because it's tipping over. Uh, at least it's just a cast iron head. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we got the head off here. Um, everything looks pretty good, except almost every single one of our pistons are cracked. So that's interesting. There's like no scoring. This one you can really see. No focus. Cracked there. So we're gonna pull all these out. We're gonna go underneath, pop them all off. But yeah, that's that's really interesting. It's definitely where our blow bite's coming from. But the sleeves actually don't look bad at all, which is weird. So we're gonna pull these, drop them out uh, from the bottom, and then push the pistons out, and then start pulling the sleeves. All right, so here's our head. It's huge, gigantic. Weighs like an absurd amount. Uh, we left the turbocharger attached to it, you can see here, and the exhaust fan full. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna go through the turbocharger. Um, since it's off, we might as well go through and rebuild it, clean everything up, replace anything that's replacing it. Probably all the gaskets and seals and whatnot. The way everything else was hard in here. I uh, assume this is too. And then we're going to go through all of the valves and get them to seal right. I'm also going to put any new sensors on, like this temp sensor that's still attached to this bracket. I'm going to put a new one on because it's a little rubber on the wires is bad. Uh, anyhow, we're going to replace all that, uh, so you need the exhaust, gasket, all the good stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull this turbo off, set off to the side, and we're going to start cleaning up the head. This stuff is nasty. This white stuff here, it's oil and coolant mixture, not good. Definitely do not want to have that on your engine, uh, that is for sure. So we're going to clean it all up, get her all the seal nice. Uh, be able to actually make some compression, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. 